Uh, good afternoon, all the attendees and panelists. Uh, welcome to this uh, 11th webinar of uh, Emerging Food Tech webinar series. Uh, the biggest food, uh, the biggest challenge every food processing industry faces today is uh, lack of advancement and innovation in its manufacturing practices. Uh, to bridge this upgradation gap, uh, we at Neologic decided to present this webinar series very, very, uh, wherein we will talk about cost-effective food automations, uh, then applications of top-notch machinery technologies, then current trends and future directions in food processing sector and much more. Uh, in the 11th webinar of this series today, we will be discussing about applications of aseptic storage tank in the food and beverage industry. A few, word about, a few words about our today's speaker, Mr. Ravindra Mahajan. Uh, born in middle-class family in Jalgao, Maharashtra, uh, he started his entrepreneurial journey and his association with dairy at early uh, at early age of 13 when he started selling milk early morning before going to school a btech in agricultural engineering from mahatma phule krishi vidyapit rahuri in 1989 then he completed uh, his masters in dairy and food engineering from iit kharagpur in 1991 with three decades of process engineering experience, including years in Alpha Laval and Tetra Pak, he established his dream by, for, by founding Neologic Engineers Private Limited with his fellow associate, Mr. Rajendra Gore in 2007 to provide end-to-end -end solutions for various applications in dairy and food processing. Today, Neologic has dairy, prepared food, fruits and vegetable processing, beverages and cosmetics as their main business verticals. Professionally a hardcore technocrat, PMP certified professional, having expertise in process design, process plant automation, dairy aseptic systems, project management. He traveled uh, to more than 30 countries and all, almost all parts of India for his professional work. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, let me present our speaker today, Mr. Ravindra Mahajan. Uh, over to you, sir. Thank you, Vande Mataram, and very well welcome to all the attendees, my friends joining from India as well as from out overseas. So, we are very happy to continue with this webinar series, and we are really encouraged by uh, your feedback and your participation uh, in this webinar series. So let me uh, go to the topic. So today's topic is applications of aseptic storage tanks in the food and beverage industry. So we have uh, different uh, pointers or agenda. Point one is why process aseptically, why aseptic storage tank, then operational principles of aseptic storage system, then key features, what you should look in uh, in the aseptic storage tank while ordering and what are the performance parameters and guarantees you should demand. Why process aseptically? Yes. So I will take a specific reference to the dairy industry. So right from 1960s and 70s, the dairy industry has was developed through Operation Flood and uh, the main concept of develop, developing dairy was to make the milk available to not only cities, but also to the small towns and to the villages everywhere. And that time, the cold chain was also uh, developed very well along with the dairy development. But uh, that uh, doesn't end the story. Actually, milk as well as other uh, fruit products are very much of perishable nature and maintaining cold chain isn't enough. So uh, there is a popularity uh, increasing for the aseptically processed products. And there are advantages of aseptic pro process products basically uh, through fresh, as a fresh product is not available in all seasons and in all geographies. See, uh, all fruits have seasonality, mango, uh, you take grape or any fruit for that matter. There is a seasonality. So if you want to have a mango uh, drink in the winter, it is not possible. Or if you want to have grapes in the summer, it is difficult. So, you, But if it is processed and preserved 
and packed aseptically, it is available in the local region as well as in the remote region. So, fresh product cannot be available in all seasons and at all geographies. That's why you need aseptic, uh, aseptically packed product. Then long shelf life is possible. Right from 45 days to one year, it is possible to get the shelf life depending on your technology and packaging type. Lack of cold storage, as I mentioned, that lack of cold storage is a main hindrance to make the fresh fruit available everywhere. Then preservation of nutritive value. See, the preservation can be done by drying, by uh, freeze drying, or even by uh, sun drying, or even by uh, doing salting process. But that preservation, uh, you cannot guarantee the uh, nutritive value will be maintained uh, throughout the shelf life of the product. But here, with a septically product, you can guarantee the shelf life, uh, nutritive value, taste, as well as aroma. Then prevention of adulteration. So the aseptically packed product is tamper proof. It cannot be adulterated easily. So that's one advantage. Then consumer convenience. See, for a cold chain, you have to have the distribution chain very much organized. And the distribution chain has a lot of limitations because of the poor infrastructure, poor road conditions. But here, aseptic product can be easily transported as per the convenience. And consumer can also buy the product in bulk and store it and consume it at his home whenever it, he demands. So it is very important that consumer convenience and logistics. And last but not the least, it in, gives guaranteed and uniform income to the farmers. Because during the flush season of milk or during the mango season, if the excess product is aseptically packed, that can give the guaranteed income to the farmers. So how aseptically packed products are made? Basically, it is made by using a technology where the product is sterilized in a sterilizer. Then it is transferred to a pack. That packaging material is also sterilized and it is packed in a sterile atmosphere. So all the things are in a sterile condition where zero microbial in contamination can happen and then we can ensure that the product has practically uh, zero mi micro microbes into the product and the product remains sterile over long shelf life. So now coming to the aseptic tank, see uh, sterilizer is the primary uh, processor and filling machine is the final packaging. But in between, why there is a septic tank required? Let us see that. See, a septic tank is not a processing device, practically. It doesn't mix, it doesn't heat, it doesn't cool the product, but it preserves the product coming from the septic sterilizer in a sterile condition till it is transferred for the filling. So it offers total filling machine flex line and filling machine flexibility to improve the utilization of filling machines. I, let me elaborate this. And it also matches the various flow demands of the filling station. So I will explain it to you in a, this uh, sheet. See, there is a, steril, a septic sterilizer. It can be either a fixed capacity or, or a variable capacity. But since it has a lot of heating and cooling duty and everything, it has a limitation that, that as to how much the flow can vary. Suppose a sterilizer is designed for 12,000 liter, 12 kLPH capacity. It can go as low as 4 kLPH. But whatever you reduce in terms of flow rate is a compromise on the performance because the shelf life residence time, because the Residence time in our product inside the sterilizer under hot conditions, holding time, everything is a compromise. And when uh, you are connecting this sterilizer to a filling machine, the filling machine uh, you are packing in the same plant, a 200 ml, 160 ml, as well as one liter pack. So if it is single filling machine, the flow requirement of the filling machine may be as low as 2000 liter per hour, 2 kLPH. And ultra modern now fast filling machines have come, it is 24 kLPH. Now imagine a condition where you are packing 
uh, product in a multiple filling machines. So the flow uh, variation and flow demand on the filling side is too much. That cannot be handled by aseptic sterilizer. So we need in, in between aseptic storage tank. So sterilizer works it with its full capacity and efficiency. Then the product is transferred to the aseptic storage tank. Aseptic storage can be designed as per our requirement of production, right from 2000 liter to 40,000 liter. And then as and when filling machine demands the product, it can be packed as per the required flow rate. Another advantage of the aseptic uh, storage tank is the heat treatment to the product is avoided. What I mean that the recirculation of the product that is happening in the sterilizer is eliminated because all the product is going directly to uh, transfer to the aseptic tank. It, it is not recirculated. In a direct filling scenario from sterilizer to filling machine, there is always a, some uh, recirculation of the product as uh, much as 10% uh, in small flow rates. So here it is a septic sterilizer directly, if it is directly connected to the filler, 10% of the product is coming back to the sterilizer. So the product, that 10% of the product gets additional heat treatment and it is additional energy consumption for at the aseptic sterilizer. And it also affects the aroma and freshness and color of the product. So here also, uh, it is very important to have aseptic storage tank. So whatever is the produced by sterilizer at sterilizer rated capacity, everything without recirculation is directly transferred to the aseptic storage tank. And from tank, you have a flexibility of connecting multiple filling machines, which require multiple different types of flow rates. And there is no recirculation. So preservation of product quality, aroma is also happening and energy saving is also happening because of the aseptic storage. And it is also possible in the aseptic storage tank that you can run the sterilizer as well as filler simultaneously because aseptic tank can accept the product from sterilizer and at the same time push the product towards the filling machine. So what are the typical applications of a septic storage tank? For what products we can use? Let us have a recap on that. It can be used for low acid as well as high acid products. Low acid product like white milk, it can be easily used to pack white milk. Uh, it can be used for flavored milk. You see a lot of brands coming from Amul and many different uh, customers in flavored milk, yogurt drinks, buttermilk, lassi, cream, and milkshakes. Very common application for juices, you see fruity, you see bee natural juice, you see tropicana juices. Um, many uh, brands are packed. Then fruit and non-fruit based herbal beverages. There are so many herbal drinks now coming up, aloe vera drink and uh, Tulsi drink and so many things are coming up uh, for the health conscious people. So those kind of drinks are also packed uh, through this. And ORS supplements in uh, liquid form. So ORS are available in uh, liquid form as well as in powder form, but it is easily available and consumed in a liquid form through a septic uh, package. So ORS also can be handled through the septic storage. So let us see what are the operational principles, how the aseptic storage system works. So basically the tank is a pressure vessel and it is sterilized with steam. And the parameter of temperature and time is maintained so that you ensure the tank along with its distribution piping, along with its valves, all the components mounted on the tank, everything is sterilized with steam. Let us say temperature of around 125 degree for 30 minutes, 45 minutes as per the parameter demand from the end user or customers. So everything is kept under sterile condition after sterilization. The tank is cooled, is pressurized and with filtered air. And once the sterile condition and positive pressure is maintained inside the tank and sterilizer is ready with the production, 
product is received in the tank from sterilizer in sterile condition and the valve opens with a steam barrier safety so the product is filled into the tank and after some level is achieved then you start the production and filling uh, and pushing the product to the filling uh, machine with sterile air pressure so the product is transferred through pipes by tank uh, and back, as the product is uh, under pressure you don't need a pump and you can't have pump in this system uh, for the risk of contamination through the pump shaft during uh, the transfer of the product to filling machine the end product is also in product pipe that is also equipped with the aseptic valve cluster we have to ensure that at the filling valve there are some connections where uh, there is a connection possible to connect it to the next filling machine so there is a t joint and uh, after this uh, valve cluster we have to maintain the asepticity with a uh, steam barrier let us see what are the key features now we have seen the how it uh, how it operates let us see what are the features required to maintain the sterility in the aseptic storage tank as it is a very critical component it is as critical as the filling machine and uh, aseptic sterilizer so the key features are as the tank is always under pressure it is designed for pressure of 3 bar which is operation operations pressure and uh, is also designed for vacuum conditions because we are going to sterilize it with steam and cool it the tank is equipped with load cell so that we come to know with a weighing system so that we come to know how much volume is balanced in the tank and it is important to know how long the filling machine can pack the product in the shift or how much uh, additional product we can receive from the sterilizer and it is not just a tank but uh, the tank is equipped with a very critical uh, module valve cluster module that valve cluster module all the components such as change over valves mix move valves end valve cluster from all the points there is a risk of unsterility so all such points are identified and isolated with a steam barrier and at these locations which are critical for the performance of the tank the temperature is monitored and controlled through an automated system the tank is manufactured as per asme section 8 code since neologic is uh, supplying the tank not only in india but in many countries we have decided to design this system as per the asme section 8 code of pressure vessel it is cylindrical open jacket and the tank is provided with tank cooling system because when the tank is sterilized it is heated up to 125 degree temperature and you cannot take product at ambient temperature directly into the tank so it is necessary to cool the tank before we start filling the product sterile air pressure control system is part of the integral part of the module where we take the compressed air moisture free and oil free compressed air and pass it through sterile filter those sterile filters are also sterilized every time along with the tank and sterile air positive pressure is maintained in the system as i have mentioned that all critical control points are monitored uh, through automation system so we need a very sober, robust automation and automation programming and automation monitoring uh, to control this uh, otherwise any uh, risk of unsterility can Uh, cause big damage uh, to the brand and also uh, market recalls this tank is equipped with magnetically coupled actuator as i have mentioned that it is not a mixing duty in the tank but still we have to maintain the product in homogeneous condition there should not be any sedimentation or flotation of the sacs or foaming allowed into the product so we have to keep the product in homogeneous condition by way of actuator the conventional way of agitator is to have a shaft and agitator from the top but you always carry a risk of contamination through the mechanical shaft seal provided on the agitator shaft so again there is a barrier required for that mechanical seal of the agitator we have avoided that risk by providing a bottom mounted magnetic agitator where the agitator blade rotates inside the tank without having a shaft passing through the tank body scada with data logging 
and report production is very essential as every uh, fraction of second uh, disturbance in the critical temperatures and parameters and pressure is very important. We have to report and log in all the data parameters and this is immensely helpful when we do the problem analysis. Modular design helps in quick installation and fast commissioning. As you have seen the picture, I will show you once again. All the critical uh, components are mounted on the module. That module is manufactured and assembled in factory and it is factory tested with all the automation parameters and tank and module is installed at site uh, within a very short time so that commissioning can be done very fast. So again, the typical picture where from sterilizer, the product is coming through the valve cluster and pushed to the tank. And from the tank, again, it is coming back to the valve cluster and getting transferred to the filling machines. So it requires steam, it requires cooling water. Basically, uh, steam has to be pressure at three bar and uh, one bar is required to maintain the sterility inside the valve cluster as well as to do the uh, aseptic uh, sterilization of the tank. So this is typical uh, tank body and valve cluster. All components are very critically chosen uh, to withstand the uh, harsh temperature conditions of sterilization as well as to withstand the long life and reliability of the product because it is very critical equipment. So I'm just showing you some of the components here. On the left top side, you see typical mix through valve cluster with valve with a steam below. And in the center, you see a impeller of magnetic agitator where there is no shock. The impeller rotates by just the magnetic forces created outside the tank. And there are some aseptic sterile valves imported from Denmark and Germany and a very robust automation system. This is a sample report I am showing from one of our customer, Krimbel. It is a PepsiCo franchisee. We have supplied more than 20 such tanks and all that storage systems are equipped with such kind of SCADA based uh, report monitoring system. So this is a typical report wherein all the parameters are logged and maintained uh, to, the to do the problem analysis in case of unsterility or any market complaint about shelf life. So when you are going for, a, if you are a processor and you are going for a aseptic storage tank along with the aseptic filling machine, what performance you should expect? from this equipment. Let us see some of the parameters. Basically, it should meet the complete criteria of sterility trials. The sterilizer, aseptic storage tank, and filling machine, all together as a one system, has to be passed through the sterility test. There is no separate sterility test required for the tank. What we have to ensure is that once the sterilizer has produced a sterile product, it should be retained overnight inside the tank and then packed. And during that uh, storage time, we should man monitor all the pressure and temperature conditions uh, and maintain the product in sterile conditions inside the vessel. So accuracy of pressure control in the tank and filling is very important. Of course, it goes without saying that the utilities also have to be stable. And for newcomers who are new to the this kind of equipment, I am sharing some of the photograph of its installations done by Neology. We have done uh, installations in India and outside India for uh, milk application, for juice application, even for yogurt application, for Danone, for Gulf Milk Union, for Be Natural, for PepsiCo, there are many installations done by us. So these are some of the sample photographs where on the left side is a 
drainage system from the sterile seals and on the right side you see the tank with uh, module the entire tank cannot be captured because it's a big tank in a small room so i couldn't take the big picture of this so this is the on the left side you would see the tank that is 12000 liter and some photographs of the valfluster module this is one of the smallest tank we had supplied for danone it is 2000 liter only on the left side and on the right side one more pepsico installation so as a recap i, I have come to the end of the presentation so I have covered why aseptic technology is required basically to make the food available in safe conditions at, across all geographies and to all the people and also to give long shelf life with assurance of unadulterated product. So that's very important. And while processing this, we need a aseptic storage tank to save energy, to have production flexibility and also to utilize maximum extend the complete filling machine setup because if you connect one sterilizer with just one filling machine and if you are going to pack different different volumes then other filling machines are always lying idle so it is essential that if you have a septic tank you can pack multiple volumes uh, packets in different filling machines so you utilize your daily efficiency very well daily uh, daily handling capacity then we have gone through the operation principle, how the sterility is maintained inside the tank, what are the key features, how the construction of the tank is critical and important, and how we should always check the performance of the system because it is a critical equipment. It has to be thoroughly tested along with the filling machine uh, and sterilizer to maintain the, the guarantee of shelf life to the consumer. <clears throat> yes. Uh yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the first question I'm taking, uh, it is by Mr. Nelson Hurtado. He's asking what kind of automation or branches system manage the control? It's basically a com complete PLC control system where we have Allen Bradley or Siemens PLC and the complete software is developed by us with uh, all the critical control points in mind and interlocks so that if there is any interlock uh, failure or any critical point compromised or parameter compromised, the automation will pop up alarm and it will not allow operator to go into the next phase. Okay. Yes. And uh, uh, such uh, for the aseptic tank systems, uh, any kind of controller like control uh, logics or, or compact logics uh, will serve the purpose. Uh, so uh, Rockwell is a preferred uh, control system uh, for new logic. Siemens is also okay. So it's not really very special uh, requirement of the uh, control system. Okay. So Nelson has another question, two more question. Uh, yeah. What is the best way to detect any contamination inside the tank? Uh, basically, uh, there are no technologies as such to detect a contamination inside the tank as well as into the product uh, immediately or even inside the sterilizer immediately. We have to uh, go through the incubation process so that the product uh, in uh, package format is incubated for some time and after the incubation, if you find uncertainty, then we have to do the analysis of that uncertainty, what type of microorganisms have grown inside that. And based on the type of micro microorganisms, uh, the uh, problem analysis is done. Whether the uncertainty is coming from the package, package integrity, a septic storage tank, or insufficient sterilization, or many other things. It is a long subject to answer that. Yeah, and there are various ways also to find out the, uh, like during validation, you can uh, check the uh, possible dead pockets by uh, yes. the temporary sensors, temperature yes. sensors. So when we do the commissioning, actually we do the complete thermal mapping of the system. 
so we uh, ensure that all the points where our product is going to be and wherever sterile air is coming in contact, all those points are properly sterilized for a given time. So the thermal mapping is part of the commissioning. Yeah, Nelson has one more question. How the aseptic tank communicates with sterilizer and filler? Uh, basically, when aseptic tank is ready to receive product and when sterilizer is in production, that in signal interchange uh, happens with the sterilizer. That sterilizer is in production and sterilizer is ready to transfer the product to the aseptic tank and the aseptic tank is ready. So that is upstream communication and downstream communication when filling machine is also ready after the sterilization and after the initial uh, sterility done. Once the filling machine uh, signal sends that filling machine is ready for filling, then only aseptic tank will allow the product to be filled into the filling machine. So both ways, upstream as well as downstream communication is very critical and it is integral part of the system. And whenever we take a pro project like this, we uh, communicate with the different suppliers of sterilizer and filling machine to have an integrated solution. He has one more question. How the, what is the pressure is to be maintained inside the tank during production? The demand of pressure actually comes from the positive pressure required at the filling wall. Let us say filling wall is requiring pressure, uh, just assume a case where filling wall is requiring pressure around one bar. So that one bar plus the system pressure drop is the pressure required at the aseptic tank. One question which is asked by multiple people is, yeah. uh, it is by Mr. Falguna as well as it is asked by uh, Manoj. Uh, no yeah. So yeah. then uh, the question is how long actually we can keep the product inside the aseptic tank? Yes, uh, it depends also on the product characteristics. Generally, the uh, product is packed at ambient temperature. So there is no heating and cooling involved. And once the sterility is maintained across all the contamination risk areas, you can store the product as much as you want in the aseptic tank, but generally it is not done for days together or weeks together because it is always risk to maintain exact parameters on the utility side. Because whenever the product is there in the aseptic tank, you have to run the, uh, you have to run the steam, you have to have the assured pressure of sterile air, you have to have the uh, no power cuts. So considering all these parameters, I have seen that generally not more than one day or two day uh, our customers keep the product in the tank. But if you ask me theoretically, as long as the processing parameters and HACCP points are maintained, you can store the product for a very long time. Okay. <clears throat> Next question is from Balaya Vodarila. Uh, he's asking how much area uh, in terms of space is required for 4KL line? 4KL? Yeah. Uh, you mean to say 4,000 liter? 4,000 liter, yeah. Um, I can say that around 8 meter by 4 meter area should be enough. Okay. As a, as, as a floor plate and height of around 6 uh, Five and a half to six meter is required because it is a vertical tank. Okay. Uh, another question by Mr. Manish Kumar is asking: Is CIP of aseptic tank done along with the filling machine or along with the sterilizer? Sterilizer CIP is done, and the sterilizer transfer piping up to the aseptic tank is done along with the sterilizer, and. That is very critical. That's why the aseptic tank system has a critical wall with steam barrier. So that even if you are doing the sterilization of sterilizer or any recirculation on the sterilizer, that product doesn't come in contact with the product in the aseptic tank. So sterilizer, CIP and sterilizer operations are independent by way of this mixture wall. And filling machine CIP is actually after the product wall, means the product, filling tube and everything. So that is also a separate CIP. But the line from aseptic tank to the filling machine is done along with the aseptic tank. Okay. Uh, 
a question from mr raju can aseptic uh, tank hold aseptic of heat sensitive probiotic products as i have mentioned that the aseptic tank uh, holds the product at ambient temperature it totally depends on at what uh, temperature you want to pack the product since aseptic tank is not considered generally for hot fill products i don't think that it is a problem because ambient temperature the heat sensitive product can be packed okay okay we have a question from uh, sir uh, ravi rao that yeah can neologic sterilizer uh, this tanks uh, yeah. communicate with any other make uh, sterilizer like uh, tetra or gia spx and communicate Absol absolutely and also the filling machine yes absolutely the signal yeah. exchange is very easy and all the reputed brands of sterilizer all the reputed brands of filling machine <coughs> uh, manufacturers have these signals available into their system what uh, what signals we are asking like sterilizer ready sterilizer under cip sterilizer under production these kind of signals as well as filling machine ready filling machine under cip all these signals are possible and available with all the reputed mix so we have whatever installation 2022 installations we have done so far are always with mix and match of these mix so it's not a challenge at all yeah and how long you can keep the low acid product like milk in a septic tank see whether the product is low acid or high acid it doesn't make big difference as we have designed the septic tank for the most critical duty and in a septic production most critical duty is generally considered as low acid product so our system is designed for low acid product already so we do not see any challenge in maintaining the product as i mentioned that if your product has a sedimentation problem or any other problem in storage then that should be handled as a product uh, specific requirement but as such there is no limitation to store high acid or low acid product for certain time i cannot say that low acid product can be stored in a septic tank for shorter time and high acid product can be stored on a longer time it totally depends on how we maintain the critical safety parameters in the production yeah there is a question from yasin yeah the tender coconut juice yeah uh, and uh, tender coconut water plus meat yeah uh, can be processed aseptically uh, yes it can be processed aseptically but uh, there is a chance that the uh, chunks uh, or coconut chunks uh, may settle in the aseptic tank and you may have uh, ununiform distribution uh, in your products in your package so this uh, need to be discussed separately uh, because we want to understand what is the chunk size how much it is in percentage wise into the coconut water so it is very specific question we have to take more uh, specific data from you and then i can elaborate more and help you on that there is a question from shine but in case of the problem in aseptic tank is it yeah. there possibility to bypass the line and fill it to sterilize uh, filler directly from sterilizer yes uh, generally whatever system we make uh, we give possibility of design that suppose some component is shut down and uh, the spare part is not available with uh, the dairy or with your plant then we generally suggest that you should always have a flow plate kind of system or piping system flexible to have the direct line also from sterilizer to filling because that is the way you can improve the efficiency of machine utilization okay um question from mr manish kumar yeah. what is the room condition required for a septic tank a septic tank the hygiene condition should be as good as any other uh, uh, process uh, room but only thing is that since it is uh, sterilized uh, with uh, steam it should be well ventilated room with a uh, good hygienic flooring and drainage system okay and uh, it is not necessary to maintain very high positive pressure like filling room that's okay. i can that i can say okay sure. 
there is a question from Mr. Balaya. Uh, what is the frequency time for the CIP? I think this will depend on the product, but you can explain more. Yeah. Every time when we empty the product, we have to do CIP and sterilization of the vessel. Okay. Once the tank receives low level and uh, we start the CIP of the sterilizer as well as filling machine, that time the tank CIP also should be done. Okay. Manish has a question. I am not sure if it is already answered. The CIP of the aseptic tank, it is done along with the filling machine or? It is already with yeah, the sterilizer. Yeah, so he has another question. What kind of steam required for aseptic tank? Quality of steam. The, we have a very sophisticated uh, steam filters inside the system. What we expect is a uh, well uh, saturated steam without heavy uh, condensate load should be given to the septic tank so that there, there is no clogging of the filters quickly and the flow rate of the steam should be good enough to sterilize the tank in a given time. What I mean is, even if the during production, the aseptic tank consumes very less steam, but at the time of CIP, the flow rate of the steam is quite high. So we have to design the steam distribution system accordingly. One question by Mr. Arup Mondal. <coughs> how to exhaust all line volume when the aseptic tank volume is have become zero? We uh, have a positive air pressure system. So we have a good monitoring through the load cell system that the aseptic tank has reached the lowest level. And there is a flow sensor installed very close to the filling machine. So that flow sensor gives the signal that the entire product is transferred to the filling line. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. So it, is, it really yeah. ensures that uh, the product inside the tank and inside the pipeline it is completely filled in the transport to the machine. yes okay okay question from mr ravi srinivas rao uh, a sterile tank is huge uh, can it be kept outside the processing room like we keep milk silos as i have mentioned that uh, it is essential to maintain the external hygiene also even though the product is not coming in contact with the external atmosphere, but since all the critical components and automation and instrumentation is involved, it is always recommended to have a hygiene like any other process section and it cannot be kept outside. Yeah, it has got an open jacket. Yeah. It's a possibility of contamination. Yeah. Okay. Uh... I think uh, we have already answered this question, frequency and method of the cleaning and sanitation of the equipment. Uh, one question is coming from Mr. Raju again is, uh, do we use, we, can we use the same system like we use the CIP system for normal tanks? Same system can be used for uh, aseptic okay. tanks? Generally, if you have aseptic filling machine, it is possible to have common pill, uh, CIP system for aseptic tank and aseptic filling machine. But uh, as per the global standard, the detergent inside the uh, this CIP system of aseptic uh, line is not mixed with the, uh, any other uh, non-sterile uh, process areas. So it is a global recommendation for all from all the reputed suppliers that you should have aseptic side CIP separate and uh, non-aseptic side that is blending and your uh, re reception side CIP separate. Okay. One more reason for this is we do not reuse the water in this system because it may be loaded with some solids. Okay. But whereas your other CIP system uses a lot of water and it is reused. Okay. Uh... One question from Mr. Janardhan is, is it required to disassemble and assemble clusters every time we do the CIP? Absolutely no. We don't need to dismantle anything. It is done CIP in place, cleaning in place, 100%. We don't have to dismantle anything at all. Krishna, there are a few questions in chat box also. Yes, yes. That is what I'm going through. Yeah. 
does the quality of water and pH value? This is a question by Mr. D. Raw. Uh, and he's asking, uh, does the quality of water and pH value of a particular area affects the CIP and maintenance of the tanks? It is not only the aseptic tank, but generally for the uh, complete processing line, where uh, sensitive stainless steel and heat treatment is involved, uh, you should always have a good quality of water. And what is good quality of water? It is better to check with the manufacturer. I mean, good quality of water is very low TDS, not as low as uh, 5 ppm or so, but low TDS, uh, low chloride content and very less silicates. So there are a few parameters. Uh, if uh, you maintain it, well, for your uh, the processing line, same parameters can be used for a septic tank. Okay. Uh, one question from Mr. Mostaba Rajai. Uh, he is asking uh, how long the frequency uh, of the changing of the air filter. The guidelines uh, depends uh, on filter make and filter configuration. But generally, 50 CIP cyc uh, sterilization cycles is the guideline. Okay. Uh, there are a few questions which are more technical, which we will be uh, definitely answering through the emails because we will be taking backup of all the questions. One question is by, again, this uh, Mr. Mostaba Razei. What is the temperature of steam barrier uh, to be kept for the product time before the opening of the valve? I think we can answer it uh, through the mails. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, that's it. This covers most of the questions because a lot of questions are repeated, asked by someone else, and we have already answered that. So, thank you very much uh, for all the participants. A big thank you to you all for finding time to attend the webinar series uh, hosted by Neologic. And we look forward to your encouragement, feedback, and active participation in all our uh, upcoming webinars. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Uh, Nikhil, we have some some announcement to be made for the yes yes, yes. A few upcoming webinars. Uh, yes. Sir, can we move to the next slide? Yeah. Yeah. So these are a few uh, previous webinars uh, conducted in, uh, uh, in this uh, in the last year. Uh, you can find the recording of this webinar on our official YouTube channel. Also, you will be redirected to uh, our YouTube channel uh, after this webinar. Uh, and you can see the past webinars as well. Uh, so can we move to the next slide? Yeah, these are a few upcoming webinars on high-speed dairy separators, uh, hygienic or sanitary manufacturing practices, current trends in UST milk processing, Automation and hygiene go hand in hand. You will, you all will get uh, uh, notifications and a registration link through email campaigns, as well as you can find it on our LinkedIn channel, and you can get it through LinkedIn messages as well. Next, yeah, just before uh, uh, closing this, no, I will yeah. request Ravindra to just in two sir, two uh, sentences if you can just uh, share what new logic. Uh, has done in aseptic tank technology. Yes, yes. I can say that, I can probably say that Neologic is the first Indian company that has indigenously designed and successfully implemented this uh, aseptic storage system project in India as well as outside India. So far, we have supplied more than 20 installations and through a very rigorous uh, validation process, all our, our customers have uh, shown faith in our aseptic technology and we look forward uh, to have continuous interaction with you and also we look forward to have inquiries from you. We are very actively into the aseptic uh, processing and aseptic storage systems and we can integrate even if you have different sterilizer or existing system uh, where you have already filling machine and aseptic sterilizer and you want to increase your capacity by adding few more machines, I strongly recommend that you should also go for aseptic storage uh, for its inherent benefits. Okay. 
Thank you, Ravindra. Thank you. Nikhil, that's it? Yeah, next, uh, next slide. Yeah, I request all the attendees to uh, please take a screenshot of this particular slide. Uh, if you have any further queries regarding today's topic, you can mail us at uh, sales at the .net, as well as you can visit our website uh, to know more all our uh, products and uh, equipment and processing lines. Thank you very much all the attendees. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you all okay. the panelists. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good day. Bye. Thank you.